I'm Madison Strassheim in the Newswatch newsroom. Coming up next, a major gang crackdown in downtown LA. Jay, we're near Echo Park where the victim's body was found. Police have released this composite sketch of the suspect. They believe he's a homeless man who lives somewhere in the park. I'm Madison Strassheim in Hollywood where dog thieves are on the loose. That story coming up. I'm Madison Strassheim in downtown LA where police say this car is a murder weapon. Those stories and more next on Newswatch. Good evening, I'm Madison Strassheim in the Newswatch newsroom. Our top story tonight, new evidence in a murder case that has gripped Los Angeles. Police revealed the car they say two grandmothers use as a murder weapon. Their goal, nearly $3 million of insurance money. Police want the public to get a good look at this car. It was allegedly used by 77-year-old Helen Golay and 75-year-old Olga Rutterschmidt to kill two men in separate hit-and-run accidents. Robbery homicide detective Dennis Kilcoyne says the car is the key to the case. This is, this is probably our biggest piece of evidence in the entire trial, was the fact that we were able to locate the car, connect it to the women. The victims, 50-year-old Kenneth McDavid and 73-year-old Paul Vatos, were no strangers to their alleged murderers. The women befriended the transient men in a plot to collect their life insurance policies worth $2.8 million. Vatos was killed in a 1999 hit and run near this secluded Hollywood alley, and McDavid suffered the same fate six years later in a Westwood alley. Well, you're the one who's trying to influence the jury. I'm simply responding to a press conference that I saw in progress. Emotions ran high inside and outside the court where the defense attorney confronted the victim's family attorney, Gloria Allred. What are you concerned about that we've said on behalf of the victims? That they're in pain, that they're devastated by the loss of their brother? It's improper for you to try to influence the jury through the media. Police say this car will be a valuable piece of evidence in the ongoing trial. They hope by making it public, witnesses will recognize it and come forward to testify. It's our contention that it was purchased by uh, both defendants using fictitious information, uh, stolen identity from another woman that has no connection to them or the vehicle. Both women face life in prison if convicted. Police say the car will go a long way in proving their case. The trial is expected to last for two more weeks. In other news, a West Hollywood man just announced a huge reward for the return of his beloved pit bull. The dog has been gone for more than a month and the owner just wants him back. No questions asked. This is Hambone, a lovable, compassionate pit bull. He is also Eric Lamone's best friend. But a month ago, someone stole Hambone, leaving Lamone devastated. A lot of non-pet owners don't necessarily understand the love that pets are capable of giving, but they really fill up a space the same way a kid or any other loved one would in their lives. The thieves snatched Hambone outside this 7-Eleven at Coenga and Yucca in Hollywood. Witnesses say the suspects were three men driving an army green van with W-2 on the driver's side. Lamone blames himself for leaving his dog unattended and has since launched a YouTube campaign along with a $10,000 reward to get Hambone back home. At a news conference announcing the reward, animal activist Chris DeRose urged dog owners to treat pets the same as children. Two million pets a year are reported stolen in this country, many of which wind up going to research facilities. Many or wind up being uh, used for bait for pit bull fighting. That's a big thing and it's growing every day. Lehman tied his dog to his car wheel and went into this 7-Eleven for just a few moments. When he returned, his dog was gone, showing just how fast these criminals can act. It's an aggressive problem here in Los Angeles. After so many drivers adding star power to the cause, she says Lamone's tragedy should be a message for all pet owners. Keep your dog where you can see it at all times. I will leave him outside a place with somebody that you know and trust. If you see the dog, you can reach the owner at eric at findhambone.com. That's going to do for tonight. Thank you for watching Newswatch. I'm Madison Strassheim. Have a good night. Jay, the LAPD says this was the biggest gang crackdown in a decade. Police arrested dozens of suspected gang members in the Skid Row section of downtown. They're part of the so-called Fifth and Hill Gang. Police recovered dozens of weapons, drugs, and stolen property. Well, we're hoping that this shuts down the gang for good. Certainly shut down the upper end of the gang. Police say they plan to make more arrests this week. For Newswatch, I'm Madison Strassheim.